welcome to another week of pointing and clicking. Hey guys and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer, and this is Trailer Talk, the show where I'm going to be looking at a bunch of adventure game trailers, both old and new. And let's throw some adventure game news in there whilst we're at it. If this is your first time to Yak Wax Lips, I create only adventure game videos. Things like Monkey Island and Broken Sword, all those old school classics, through to brand new games that are coming out, just like the ones on this list. If that sounds like your cup of tea, please make sure that you smash that like, hit subscribe for more, and turn on the notification bell as well. Without further ado, let's head into trailer number one. Welcome aboard the Royce Express, where my guests indulge in luxury travel, fine dining, and... Mega? <gasps> well then, who's at hand to catch my killer? There's my trusty lawyer, a would-be detective, and Her Majesty's Secret Service. There's just one problem. They're the suspects. With puzzles to solve, palms to grease, and clues to uncover, they'd better prove their innocence fast, or it's the end of the line in an adventure that's not just nuts. It's Locomotive! <laughs> The last couple of shows we've featured quite a lot of gritty and dark mystery thrillers, so I'm delighted that Locomotive is booking that trend. This slapstick adventure is due out in the summer 2022 and it comes from Robust Games. It's currently penciled in for both the PC and the Switch. If you like the look of that one, I'm going to leave all the links down below so that you can wishlist it on Steam. And from one bright, fun point-of-click adventure game to another. Our world has always been a peaceful place. Hardly anything could disturb the peace in our ancient forests. But that all changed when these machines appeared. I'm the only one who can stop them. Hey! What about me? Oh, by the way, my name is Finn. I'm that handsome robot right there. Yow there is Gwen. That's me. And we have an incredible story to tell you. About a journey that took us across the kingdom. Puzzles? Wait a minute. This is one of those point-and-click adventure games. Aren't we, like, 30 years too late for that? Nonsense. Some people are crazy about them. Weird. There he is, our little tramp. Look here and be amazed. What's with that attitude? I am Sven Slauterson. I've been to the mole mines. Now that's enough spoilers. Beyond the edge of Owl's Guard right there from Watch the Toast, based in Germany. Another one that ticks all my boxes. Beautiful pixel art, great voice acting, and just a good time. This one is out in September this year, but there will be a Kickstarter coming along any day now, so I'm gonna leave all the links down below in the description again for you to go and wishlist it and just check it out yourself. And now time for some adventure game news. And the big one this week is that Ken and Roberta Williams' new game has been announced. In last week's show, I said that there would be a big announcement on March the 21st, and that announcement is, they are creating Colossal Cave 3D Adventure. Their text-based classic from Sierra in the 80s is getting a revamp. Essentially, it's the same game, but updated for today's audience. So sit back and watch this trailer of the first game created by the Williams for over 20 years.
another leading adventure game creator, Wajitai Games, has released a first look at their brand new game, albeit just the title art. Old Skies is over a year away yet, and there has been images put on the screen before, but here you can see the official title branding and the look that they're going to go for. The game is different artistically from their previous games like Unavowed and the Blackwell series, as there is no pixel art. And I have an entire interview right here that I did with Dave Gilbert last year, talking about Old Skies and what it's all about and where it's going. There is no release date yet, but Dave has said that it is at least a year away. And now let's take a look at some games that have recently been released that I've covered previously on this channel. First up, and it was released just last week, it's Siberia The World Before. I've come a very long way to find out about her. I would really like to know who she is. It's very important to me, you see? You'll be happy to know that reviews for this one are pretty good, considering the third one was, let's face it, a bit of a dog's dinner. One of my favourite games from the recent Steam Festival, this is Strange Horticulture from Bad Viking. Another game that I recently played at the Steam Festival is Perfect Tides from 3Bs Inc. This was released on the 22nd of February. And thanks to Kieran from my Discord for pointing out that, yeah, the full game is out now and actually it might be one of his favourite games of the year. Talking about games of the year, Norco from Geography of Robots was an outstanding demo and the full game is now released. All the links for these games are going to be down in the description, so if you like the look of them, go and buy them. And if you'd like to come and join me in the Yak Wax Lips Discord, then go ahead down below in the description. I'll leave a link right there. This next game was released almost a year ago, and I keep meaning to cover it. So here we go. This is Not Another Weekend from Dionys Games. As that is already out, you can go and get it right now in the link down below, and it has been gathering some pretty awesome reviews. I played the demo of that, and I mean, I'm going to go along with those reviews. It was great. But we've had quite a lot of pixel art in today's episode, so I thought I'd end the show with something a little different.
Stories of Blossom right there from Soft Leaf Studios based in Northern Ireland. This is coming out this year, no date yet, but if you'd like to look at that again, as always, links down below in the description. Next week, for sure, you'll be able to see my face because my camera is now sorted. However, I'm just too lazy to sort it out right now. And I'd love to hear which of these games you'll be picking up and what you think of them already. Let me know down below in the comments. Until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening, maybe even night time. Whatever it is you're doing right now, take care.